On average, global temperatures have already increased by 0.8 degrees Celsius since the onset of industrialization. The concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere is at its highest level for at least 800 years. Depending on how we manage future emissions, thermometers could climb another 5 degrees Celsius by 2100, which would have a devastating impact on life on Earth. Even in the most optimistic scenarios, the acceleration of global warming threatens available resources of drinking water and food security for millions of people. Production of the world's four major food crops, wheat, maize, rice and soybean, will be reduced. And yet by 2050, food production will need to be doubled to feed the 9 billion people populating the planet. Simultaneously, 20-30% to 30 of animal and vegetable spices are facing extinction because temperatures are changing too fast for them to be able to adapt. Sea level is predicted to rise between 26 and 98 centimetres by the end of the 21st century due to melting glaciers and thermal expansion of ocean water. This is likely to trigger large-scale migrations of people around the world currently living in low-lying river deltas. Even a 30-centimetre increase could considerably aggravate extreme climate events with storms, drought, flood and landslide increasing in frequency. Freshwater reserves held in glaciers will become scarcer and river flow will diminish, leading to knock-on effect on the hydroelectric production and agriculture. Oceans will continue to acidify and climate-driven migration of fish stocks towards freshwater will have an impact on fishing zones, depriving certain populations of an essential food source. The cumulative effects of global warming will also exacerbate violent conflicts in certain countries over territory or water supplies. Many of these impacts may already be locked in because CO2 lingers on in the atmosphere for centuries. But the full scope and impact of these changes depend upon the choices made now.